know, first and foremost, thank you, Jesus, for Lord, if it was not for you, I would still be that abomination that I was. And I thank you, Lord, that every day I'm a little less like that old me and hopefully fastly walking away from an old life because I don't want to be that old me. And I think back to where you pulled me from, and I don't ever want to go back to that ever again. And I also want to thank all my brothers and sisters uh, on here. You know, I really do. I, I treasure you guys, and I very much value your opinion and your counsel on this. And in particularly, um, Braveheart, walk with me. And of course, uh, my brother Cruz and Kev, who I hope is doing well, haven't heard from him in a little bit. So, you know, please keep Kevin in your prayers, hoping everything's going well, hoping he's maybe just busy doing something. Who knows? You know, he's, he's a big boy, he can take care of himself. But, you know, we always got to keep praying for our brothers and sisters to our left and our right. You know, in, in these days, deception is everywhere now getting into the the video here on Jonathan Kleck if you noticed the uh, this clip right here I'm, I'm trying to think oh fringe pop sorry about that because uh, Cruz and Kev actually has this video on there and I'm gonna post some links down in the comments and you guys can go check these out but you'll notice it says the woman says to the angel Samuel right now in the Targum Jonathan which I'm gonna just kind of let these slides go through and you guys can pause it and you can read this stuff about this uh, angel Samuel or you can actually just go type this into Wikipedia and you can see where I got all this stuff is I try to make sure I leave this stuff on here so it's real easy for anybody to go through and check this stuff out and I know Wikipedia probably ain't the greatest research however it's really revealing because well in this case it's literally telling you that it's from the Talmud and from the research that I've been doing into Kabbalah I've noticed and this kind of goes into the whole QAnon thing and this is just my opinion but I believe the Q that everyone is following is Hermetic Kabbalah you know because there's uh, three different ways to spell Kabbalah with a K with a C and with a Q and depending on whether it's um, you know uh, like the Talmudic version, the Hermetic version, it, it's weird. Like you, you, you kind of just have to read it and look at it for yourself. However, with Jonathan Kleck's testimony about how he allegedly met the Archangel Michael and with what in the Kelopot, the Tree of Life, the Sephiroth, um, the Hode, you know, and I guess if you're looking at the tree of life, it'd be the very bottom left one or on one of the pillars for, I guess, if you're talking about Freemasonry. But I found it very interesting that Jonathan Kleck allegedly met Michael the Archangel, right? As well as the very thing that Kleck is supposedly exposing about the New World Order, he uses to prove his spirit in his teaching, which really goes to show a lot about the spirit that is behind Kleck. It really goes to show that Kleck really is serving Satan. Even with this, you know, heretical Talmudic belief, and by his own admission, he says that he is a Bene Ha Elohim, a fallen angel, which coincidentally is, uh, well, <laughs> the fallen angel Samuel, which coincidentally is also what Satanist worship, if you've noticed by the little sigil that he has 
<laughs> and it, it even you know with the little thing on there where it has uh, Adam and Eve, and then on the one side it says Samuel and Lilith. Well, that comes from the Zohar, you know, Talmud, Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism, witchcraft, you know. And Jonathan uses subtle little lies, such as he says, you know, and, and it's sort of a true statement in a way, because he says that the, <laughs> that the Targum predates the King James Bible. Well, it predates the King James Bible, but it does not predate the translation from which the King James Bible came from. And Kleck knows that, but he knows that most of his followers or the people that are listening to him and following him, they won't go check it out for themselves. And other people have you know, come forward about Jonathan Kleck and the spirit behind his followers, as well as if you ask questions and you point out errors, I mean, very blatant errors in his teaching, right? The way that you are attacked and ridiculed, like, I like the way that uh, Gene Revel said it, you know, that these people will probably key your car or, you know, come, you know, just chasing after, I mean, some of the first videos I had put out about Jonathan Clegg, and it, it was just an example of showing one example of just trying to talk or post comments and using scripture to point out the error and, and they don't they don't want to hear it. They they literally have, you know, as the scripture says, heap themselves teachers, you know, telling them what they want to hear. But Moving on here, you know, and I, I've noticed this and I've seen in the comments uh, on some other um, <laughs> channels and other videos exposing Kleck or people asking questions about Jonathan Kleck, right, that Christians who were questioning whether or not Jonathan was legit because somebody else had gotten them to watch one of his little videos or something like that and you know they, they said something about him was off and that they, they prayed to God and then they actually sought Jesus and then they got answers like run is one of the comments I've seen uh, another one a woman had pointed out you know something that I know a lot of other people have also noticed is the open mocking that at first she didn't see it but the more, you know, she started to look at Jonathan objectively, she saw what he was doing. He's openly mocking you like Satanists do. Like, he, that's why he has his little wolf thing on and the sheep on his forehead. You know, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. And, and you know, he lies and, you know, he, he tells people he's a, uh, what is it? Or he's a, a sheep in wolf's clothing. It's just this whole as above, so below symbolism, you know, the, the blatant symbolism to Freemasonry that he puts out there, as well as the links that his father had to uh, some very weird, you know, things with psychology. And the fact that he uses you know, mind control techniques and cult tactics on his own following. And the fact that he literally, he, he, will, he runs from a debate. He will not debate anybody. He'll attack people, but he won't actually debate them. And, you know, I, I found this really interesting today because there was another channel in uh, uh, Honest News and he was actually talking about how Jonathan Kahn, and there's another one for you, um, how you know, he was getting into the star of Rim Fan. And I found it really interesting. And it kind of reminded me of Kleck in a way, because both you know, Jonathan Kahn and Jonathan Kleck are both, you know, Kabbalist 
and he was talking about the using of the triangles and how they have the one going up and the one going down and you know the symbolism with the male and the female and that's being used in witchcraft and that you know what people call the star of david is not the star of david it's a mystic symbol used in witchcraft all right and anyway i just i just found it really interesting and kind of odd especially how jonathan cleck even admits that the very symbol that he uses is attributed to witchcraft and, and I, I really I mean, these people literally have to either been given over to a reprobate mind and i'm not saying that to be mean but i mean how the following of jonathan cleck or those of you who are listening to this man you know i, I just want to point this out the very thing that he pretends to expose is the very thing he teaches preaches and is trying to convince you of think about this logically those of you who found jonathan cleck and say that you love jesus christ if you look at what jonathan cleck is doing literally look at what he's doing right before your eyes he is going through and he is changing the scripture around. He is changing the story. He is changing everything from Genesis to Revelations. And by his own admission, he says that Lucifer, Satan, Samuel is the one who created man, the one who created the earth. All right. I, I don't really understand how you guys aren't seeing this. You know, in, it, it's insane. It is absolutely insane. I mean, he literally takes pleasure and laughs in your face as he shows you that the symbol that is being used by the people we know are pushing this chaos that this wickedness in the world he takes pleasure in showing you that's the same symbol that he was told to put on his parachute from his sunglass company and he laughs in your face because you guys don't see it you know as a follower of christ we are called to mark these people like Jonathan Cleck, Jonathan Kahn, these people who are preaching a different gospel and a different Jesus. That way, if our fellow brothers and sisters who are seeking Jesus Christ or are following after Jesus Christ and they come across people like these, you know, Cleck, that they know without a doubt that if they hold him up to scripture he does not pass there's been several people who have done videos exposing the false teaching and the hypocrisy of jonathan cleck and if you are a follower of jonathan cleck just know this if you keep following him you will be a partaker of his reward and his reward will be a cup of wrath of an unquenchable fire he's preaching a different gospel a different jesus and he is just wicked and he knows exactly what he's doing he laughs at you guys and he thinks it's funny don't be deceived brothers and sisters don't be deceived not everyone who claims that they know jesus or that they are following jesus are following jesus and this right here is a really good proof of it jonathan clack dust off your bibles spend some one-on-one -on -one time with jesus christ and test the spirit always